after kids, one portion of that is emotional health and balance and stress management. And this is a piece to that puzzle, because if you're overextending yourself and you don't know when to ask for help, this becomes a problem, right? And not only that, but if you're trying to do all the things, you're likely not going to be really good at any of the things. And not that you can't be, but typically it's like there are certain things that are in your wheelhouse and certain things that you're really good at doing and you're going to do them productively and you're going to get them done well. And then the other things you do just because you think you have to, this could be in the workplace, but this could be at home too. And it might not be for you. And if you could just be, you know, humble enough to ask for help in those areas and pass it off to someone who's that might be their strength then you're not only serving them, but you're also helping yourself and you'll uh, allow yourself to do the things that are big commitments for you even better. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to talk about any, yeah. a very concrete example, which yes. illustrates that beautifully Yeah, in that win-win scenario for that. But it, yeah, what you just said, it's really a very much a thing. It's really much a, a question of balance. Mm -hmm. And if you're unable to accept or ask for help or find yourself resisting asking for help, then very likely you're out of balance. And it's it's a necessary, I think, place to move into so that you can create space. That's a very overused term, but it, it really is what you're doing. It's creating space for new possibilities, new opportunities at this place in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's the dream, right? Yes. Is to raise the kids, look forward to all the good stuff that's coming with there's so much more. It doesn't end there, but it also is a window of opportunity because there's so much more that you have to give. Yes. And it's time to move into new avenues. So I love that. I, sure. I, I, I love what you said. And I think we do need to give up on that notion that we have to be all things to all people because we short ourselves when we do that, because we are very good at some things mm -hmm. and we're not so good at others. Yes. And that's okay. Yeah. So do the things it's, that you're good at and right. pass off the things you're not. That you're not good at. Yeah. Or that don't, that you don't or like for, doing or whatever it is, or it might be something that you really like, but you just, according to your core values, you know what your hard yeses are. And it might, it could be something that you're good at or can do capably, but it doesn't necessarily fall right in your core values and you don't have time for it, or it's going to overextend you. Mm -hmm. It's okay to ask for help there. It's kind of like that toddler, you know, that wants to do everything for themselves. And doesn't want to take a helping hand or ask, you know, that I think we can get that way. I remember doing that when my kids were growing up, like just silly things, like having a holiday at my house and I wanted the holiday to be perfect. And I wanted everyone to be there. And I was doing all the cooking. Nobody was going to help. How dumb was that? <laughs> Why wouldn't I have when like my mother and my mother-in-law, I don't know, so let me bring something. Let me make something like now, if that happened. That's the beautiful part of age comes uh, wisdom. Yeah. Yes, please. What do you want to bring? And how much can you bring? <laughs> <laughs> and can I, can we have this at your house? <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I don't really want to do it. <laughs> so it's, that's funny because we must've had something to prove. It must've been about proving at that age a little bit. It's okay. Like, right. I mean, we were proving to our mothers, to our grandmothers, to the women in our life. Yes. I for sure. Can, that, Hey, we can manage a home. We can be yeah. a good mom. We can balance all the things. We can do but, all of it. But I think at this age, we really have to be careful that our self-worth is not wrapped up in that and, Agreed. and that we don't stay there because I think that turns us into, if we have to take on all the things, it's going to turn us into like a stressed out, tapped out person. And we really, you know, who's overloaded with responsibilities and tasks. Yeah. And I believe we need to give up on that notion that that is somehow the ideal or the goal to be that woman, to be that person, because there's a maturity, as I said, or a, um, a wisdom beyond, just around that corner. You've done it all now. It's how can you leverage the talents of other people yes. <laughs> to for help. do for help and to do the things that you just frankly don't care about doing. Yes. Doesn't or, and once your machine. Yeah. And um, once again, things that you just, you can't, like, I think some of it comes down to also self-awareness and realizing when you are going to be overextended, when it's going to be too full of a plate and it's going to cause you too much stress and you have to ask somebody else to step in. 
I think, I mean, that's huge. I do not do a good job of this yet. I'm getting there. I think you, I, I've seen you in action mm -hmm. doing a bet, a really good job of like that. Dominating. I can't do that right now. It's too much. Like, yeah. And it's delegation. It's really important. I think you can learn that a couple of ways. I think you can be really intentional about it, have good examples. And then I think in my case, it honestly has just come from times where I blew you never my choice. circuits yeah. and you didn't have a choice. And then you saw how nice it was <laughs> like when, you know, you do invite in, in help. And yeah. so, you know, that's just right there. We can just have a conversation because actually verbalizing this can be the part of the hardest, uh, the hardest part rather. In, in actually coming out and asking for help because that's like admitting a we like for many of us that we're weak, it's a weak that we can't do it. Yes. But the ironic that's part about that is I think somebody is more is at their strongest, not their weakest when they're asking for help. It takes a strong person to admit they can't, look, I can't do all of this. I need help. That's strength. 